I'm Emily Pittman. I'm an artist and I love to paint. I love to paint houses because they just are such a part of how we see ourselves. They're so ingrained with our identity, where we live, where we grew up, all the houses that we associate with our, with our memories. And so they're just so tied to this idea of home. And like, what does home mean? It's different for every single person. So I guess I, guess I love to paint houses because it's just an exploration of that idea. I usually start with some kind of sketch, whether that is a physical sketch, maybe in watercolor or pencil, um, or a sketch, a digital sketch to, to kind of play with color, play with those contrasts and get my ideas out. And then I'll move that into a collage or into a painting and uh, explore the, the permanent idea. The colors that I work with are the colors that I see around me, especially in the, like our home of Newfoundland, there's color in everything. I start a painting or a collage with a house paint color. Um, and I love working with house paint, not only because it's so tied to my subject matter, I also love how it creates a really nice contrast with oil paint. I've always loved to create. It's just been a part of me since I was little. Uh, I grew up with my mother and grandmother sewing, knitting, doing embroidery, quilting. The first time I got to pick the color from my childhood bedroom was purple, so I pulled from that color a lot. It's, that's been it was a favorite color of mine when I was a kid. My grandmother's house, she loves to paint all of her interior walls yellow, whether it's the kitchen, the bathroom, every every wall in her house is yellow. So, so I pull from my memories like that, and I think we all have uh, memories of people and places that we love, and they're so tied with color. So I think I like to explore that in painting as well. I love how abstract art is limitless. It, the, the, what you can do within that discipline is just so exciting and it can, you can really put a part of yourself into the work, but I also love how every person who sees a work puts a little bit of themselves onto it as well. For example, when I paint a house, I'm not telling somebody the address, I'm not telling them any kind of specifics about that house so they can put their own memories onto it.